everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and this is Charles Beeson. And I'm having a great time. <laughs> we tried to intro this video like three times. <laughs> Spotify shuts down. My computer's dinging and pinging. It's unreal, dude. Unreal. Oh, Today, this is how you start a day. Let's go. <laughs> Today, we're checking out a Patreon pick for Propagandi's Note to Self off of the Failed States album. And we have not reacted to any songs off this album. We have not. And we were just talking about uh, how much we like the album cover for this. Yeah. Very cinematic. Yeah, it is. Very cinematic. Got a guy holding a torch, looks like, on a cliffside in a wintry landscape. Looks like, is that water hitting on the bottom, too? Is it? I don't Almost know. looks like it. Almost looks like it. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, it's hard to tell if we have a square like this big. Yeah. I don't know. I like it, though. Chuckles, do you just want to jump on in? You know I do. Let's oh, send it. Halfway point. Q Chuck bitchin'. <sighs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well. I, I like what you guys did there. Personal, I understand, Dad. Personally, personally. I get it. What did I ever do to you? What What is happening right now? You asked me, Chuck deserves it. So. <laughs> for what? Uh, there's a lot of things you've done in your life. That, that karma's probably coming back around for you. All right, I can't argue with that. <laughs> you know too much. I can't argue. Well, <laughs> as soon as we hit the, around that minute mark of the intro, I was like, well. Dude, I was getting tired of it at 45. <laughs> All right. 
And then it finally, it, it did like, was it around 35, 40? I don't know exact time there, but it did that. It picked up a little bit and I'm like, okay. And then it just stayed there for a while. And I'm like, <sighs> and then it picked up more. You know, what's funny. And then it finally started singing. I kind of liked it. And I don't like long, long intros. Typically they bother me as well. Not as much as you. Yeah. But I'm like hit or miss with them. With this one, I like how it's kind of elegant rolling into its buildup. It was, but uh, I, I would love it live um, or in the middle of a song. <laughs> well, this one's not. No, it's not. So deal with it. I already had to. <laughs> we're, we're past that. <laughs> the outro is just now beginning. Oh, God, no. Please, no. <laughs> that'd be a lot. Oh, that'd be... <laughs> Oh, you stressed me out already. <laughs> Why must you hate instruments so much, John? I love instruments in the middle of songs. You can give me a two-minute solo in the middle of a song, and I'm fine. You do it right at the beginning or right at the end, and it does not work for me in mm. my brain. Okay. All right. Let's finish this out. See where it goes Yep. in your brain. All right. was a really solid five minute song yes it's more than solid it's a very solid five minute song why are you cutting them 56 seconds off of it i know that's what you want me to ask you so i'm gonna go take the bait just cut the first 56 seconds off the song and we're good mm, there it is there it is <laughs> damn I I think we're going to have a good old-fashioned disagreement on this one, bud. Yeah. I expect nothing less. No, I mean, typically, our ratings are pretty close. 
Yeah, well, with the long intro like that, I expect nothing less. Normally, you're still a little higher than I am. Mm, it's okay, that. yeah, yeah. But it also had the squeaky noise there at the end. I know, that excited me a little bit. The pick slide, I think, is what it was. Yeah, it might have been, I don't know. But it was not sharp enough to really bother me, honestly. Damn it, sharpen it up. (laughs) Now, I think instrumentally and lyrically, honestly, this is very powerful. Yes. I think the instrumental is elegantly powerful. Also, yes. I like it. There's a lot of stuff going on here. No. <laughs> that is where we disagree. <laughs> okay. Um, Overall, the, the, the song as a whole, it's not bad. That intro just drives me nuts. Okay. Outside of that, this is a really good song. I love the li- lyrics. Love them. Vocals, good. Instrumental, really good. Like, as a whole, outside of my own bias there. It's a very, very good song. Agreed. Throw in my bias. It's not so good. <laughs> um, I've, These lyrics are pretty solid as well. Um, <laughs> so much for your hopes and dreams and, and your children. You just sat there and believing in this bullshit system, just wishing the mob would magically come to its senses. How does it make you feel? To know you just stood by and watched it. Dazed, numb, powerless, stunned, while we frantically click our heels already home. This isn't Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bands, the sports, the booze, it's all left uh, left of you. When the cops and courts refuse to confess sins of the few, what is there left to do? The answer is right before your eyes, rise. Rise. And I really love the delivery of the rise there, too. Agreed. Agreed. I, I really like that delivery as well. So I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that is to drop ratings, which for me is going to be an 8.2, and it's going to go on a playlist. Oh, sorry, Chuck. Did you want to go first? I hate to see it. You hate to see it. Hitting another OCD here. Yeah, yeah, you are. <sighs> Chuck likes to guess to see who has the lower rating while we're in the process of talking about the songs. So he can go first if he has a lower rating yes. or he'll make me go first. If I think he's got the lower rating. It's it's wild, guys. It's fun. It's a, it's a little game that I get to play. <laughs> I, know, I, see <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I never looked at it that way, but I was like, what? Uh, I'm going to go with a flat five and it's not going in a playlist. Oh, I thought this might go negative for you. The rest of the song was very good, which made up for it. But I still, in my casual listening, like if it came on and I was at like your place for a gathering or something, all right, no problem. But in my ca- my personal casual listening, what you would listen to in a it. gathering is just mind blowing to me. Just about I everything. don't think I would listen to this in a gathering. So I would set up. Why not? Because it doesn't fit a, a vibe. See, this is why you don't make playlists. This is, yes. You're like, I'll play everything. It goes from fucking this is honky why, tonk to screamo. <laughs> this is why my playlist is one massive hodgepodge of everything. <laughs> yeah. So, so five, huh? Yeah. Damn. Yep. You hate to see it. That intro absolutely killed my soul. Speaking of the long intro, shout out to our Patreon for the pick. I appreciate you very much. Yeah, thanks for the pick. Guys, we're two boys. Nope. Well, I mean, you've already F bomb done a terrible job reviewing the song, so I think there's an F bomb. Yeah. And it doesn't even make the lyrics. <laughs> it doesn't. It's a secret F bomb. Yep. It's a secret F bomb. Um, and it landed fuck it. So much for your hopes and your dreams and your children. It is during the instrumental, and it was precious. I agree. It was good. It was a good place, Steph. Very, very well placed. Not even in the lyrics, which just raises the bar for me a little bit there. I'm going with an 8.7 on this F-bomb. Okay. It's a very solid F-bomb. Really liked where it was placed. Really like how it kind of slapped you at the end of a, just an instrumental piece. Sure. And ran right into that line. 
All right. <laughs> that n- now you can now you can send it out. Okay. Well, that was Chuck's rates. Fox. Guys, I'm Joel Norton. That's Charles Beeson. Do us a favor. Smash that like button if you enjoyed our videos. And until next time, guys, peace out. Peace.